You come into the yeah, door and hold on. All right, hurry up. All right, hurry up. They have been like they're knocking off nobody's slave quarters. And watch what she says when she opens the door. Sheriff's office, the one you call. Oh, we heard you. You called us. Right. So what'd you hear? Uh, somebody outside my house. Uh, uh, is this your car over here? Now take note of a couple things. She opens the door and says, please don't hurt me. This woman is riddled with anxiety. It's obvious she's paranoid. She knows why. She just don't know she knows why. She don't know she's standing in front of her murderer, the one she's scared of. And they won't even explain to her that maybe the noise she heard outside is the fireworks. With what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, what took you so long? I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. So kind of sending. Nobody's out here. Nope, nope. Oh. Check the whole area. Y'all not gonna talk to her about the fireworks? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got gotcha. you. All right. Is there anything else we can do for you? Huh? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay, okay. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. Obviously, she's got a mental problem. I'm also gonna say this to you. In 30 years, when there is a ghost in a white dress walking around around that house and that neighborhood, don't ask why. Unless her family elevates her properly in, a, in, a, in an ancestral sense, most likely she gonna roam that area for a long time, still looking for whoever was walking around her house. And it might just be, because I watched that movie, uh, that series, um, The Haunting of Hill House. And remember Nellie, who committed suicide at some point, but all her childhood, she was haunted by this hang, this bent neck lady. Come to find out the bent neck lady was her future apparition of her committing suicide. She hung herself. It could be that the noise she heard around her house was herself. Waiting to catch up with herself. I don't know if y'all ready for that, though. You might have to catch me on the other channel for that. All right. Okay. All right. That's not your I love y'all. Thank you. Who's is it? Uh, you don't know? It's someone just parked it in your driveway? They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run back. Yeah. Nineteen, I got a twenty-four. Is anyone else working with you? They're looking for something to do. Five, five, six. You got a name? You know she got rodents. Look at all that grass. That might be what she heard. Something scratching against the uh, trying to get inside. She might have simply heard a, a rodent in the house. She was already afraid. Now, she did not invite this man into her home. Neither did he ask. She walked in and he walked in behind her and did not keep the door propped open. And that's why her his colleague walked in because his colleague knew it was probably some fishy shit. Why did you follow her into her home? 
Now, we all know that legally she's not under any obligation in the state of Illinois to identify herself. Yet he asks her for ID. When she goes inside to get it, she follows her. He overrides it and talks to them and says, you can hang up. She says, please stay on the phone. He said, for what? Hold on for what? Oh, yeah. All y'all going in. What's the name of that dispatch officer? Yeah. Hey, I just need your name so we can get out of here. Trying to show you some paperwork. You don't want to know nothing about that? Yeah. Okay, what was the damage? A dent, I believe. But what about windows? Oh, that it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Shouldn't have to think about your last name. You're not in trouble. I Shouldn't have to think about your last name. Well, she don't legally have to give it to you. I, I just, just driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. Why? I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will. What paperwork? What paperwork? I got some paperwork. Well, just get your ID real quick. Well, let's get your ID first, and then one task at a time here. Okay. Here, grab your ID for me. One task at a time. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. So then he tells her to go to the stove. Now we gonna watch this part slow. Now why did he continue to say drop the fucking pot? He fired the shot. One, two, three says drop the fucking pot. And deputy one is the one who actually said shots fired. Then he said shots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm at work. Not at the gun range shooting uh black mug shots like they do down in Florida. Oh, I'm at work. Not at the not at, at, at some military bar wishing I could steal woods. <laughs> 